Hello everyone, Carl Mike from New York here, photographer in Manhattan since the 1970s. Yesterday, I was at a photo shoot and I opened up my camera bag and my client, who pays me to only shoot in film, said, what is this in your camera bag? He pulled it out. He says, what, what is this? What is this? What's, what's a film shield? I says, oh, well, this is a lead lined bag that you would put film in. And when you go to the airport or any place that checks your luggage with any kind of x-ray machine, it protects the film from fogging. He says, well, do you have your film in here? I said, no, I have lenses in here. What lenses do I have? It says it right here. I know it's backwards. It says radioactive lenses, the Auto Sears F1.4 55 millimeter. And it says Super Tacomar F1.4 50 millimeter. Let's take a look at these radioactive lenses. <clears throat> now, I keep them in a lead-lined bag to keep the radiation away from me and everybody else. But it's okay to use them. Here's the problem. The problem comes if you keep these thorium radioactive lenses on your eyeball all day, all night while you sleep, then it would be a problem. But just to hold the lens up while you're taking a photograph or handling it like this <laughs> uh, is no problem. So this is the Auto Sears radioactive lens. It's the 1.455 millimeter. Of course, it's a M42 mount. Now, the, this lens and the next one I'm going to show you have thorium in the glass. Now, thorium is a radioactive element, but it actually helped create beautiful images in the lenses that had the thorium. Now, of course, thorium isn't used anymore in the manufacturing of lenses. Here's the next one. Everybody knows about this one. This is the Super Takamaw uh, lens made in Japan. It's the 1.450 millimeter. Now, this one you can really see. See the brown? reflection from the studio lights that's the thorium now these lens lenses give you beautiful images just handle them very cautiously call mine from new york saying now you know